Okay. Crazy dream, I guess. Other, okay, so that was not real? You all right? <laughs> Had a nightmare. About? It'd take forever to explain. Dawn, some way off. We've got time. Ah, fuck it. Might as well tell him I trust him, right? I started in the guest room at Kaer Morin. I was relaxing in the tub and next to me... Triss? Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seemed so real in my dream, though. Was she nagging you about something? Hmm. <laughs> mm hmm. True to life, indeed. Ha! Huh. We'll find her. In the dream, I went and found Ciri. Then we trained. Those were the days. Hmm. Little she devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. I assume she's dead then. Didn't end well, did it? Your dream. No. The wild hunt appeared, attacked Ciri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. Um, with all the magic in this game, I'm gonna go with this one. That's the problem. It was more. In the past, when Ciri'd appear in my dreams, something was wrong. She was in danger. We taught her how to defend herself from anything, wraiths included. Fair enough. Be dawning soon. Time to go. Wait. Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Oh, this is going to be how to show people things. Anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow her trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Oh, how about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. Oh, uh, okay. Read it, not sniff it. We must meet soon. Will it be near Vizima? Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? Um. I'm gonna click this one just because I want to see his face. Anymore. Used it once or twice. In certain. Situations. Hmm. The things young folk get up to these days. Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Do I need to go play Witcher 2? Sex on a unicorn sounds like something I need to know about. Like it leads towards the main road. Could be muddled there. Wait. Hear that? I hear it. I smell it. Ghouls. Oh, these are what ghouls are. Life on the continent in the Skeldage Isles is nasty, brutish, and short. Those it spares live in fear of the countless monsters lurking outside every town and village. Monsters are shown with a silver health bar above their head, indicating you should fight them with your silver sword. Fair enough. Okay. Adrenaline points. Striking opponents generates adrenaline points. Certain abilities you can acquire allow you to perform special attacks that require and consume adrenaline points. Slowly decline when you are not engaged in combat. When armies pass, necrophages follow. Let's go before any more show up. Note, while playing on the blood and broken bones and death march difficulty levels, meditation does not regenerate vitality. 
Food and drink can be placed in your consumable slots for quick use during combat. Press up or down to consume them. To eat it now. You can regenerate vitality by eating or drinking or by meditating for at least one hour. Okay. That's how I whistle to make my horse get over here. How do I meditate? Hit the back button. That's not what I'm doing. Actually, I don't know how to do meditation. Oh, extinguish. I'll be smart to extinguish that. Um, I'm say to get on the horse. Okay, okay, so I have to get on the horse. Ever tell you about this sorcerer I knew? Couldn't stop talking about how useful they are. Climb on the road in search of their next contract. They must trick across wide valleys, climb over high mountains. Da, 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 da. Can always count on his horse Roach to help him Yeah, I already, I already know that part. They already told me. Hold A while moving to because canter. You can brew potions from their blood. <laughs> no, because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. Hmm. Did he know they eat the living as well? No. Really upset him too. His theory collapsed. Huh. Oh, I can make him go faster if I canter. Wonderful. Double tap and press. War is not okay. exactly going our way. We have a side. The northern realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Or stamina? And Edern are no more. Radovid's pledged to restore the old borders as soon as he wins the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. That's what keeps us going. Come on now. Whoa there, man. You alright? Oh, sometime later. Phenomenal. We going? Alright, riding right, right into that sunset. Oh boy. That's a big one. Uh a wear bird Okay, a chimera maybe? I don't know what it's going to be called. I'm trying to guess. This motherfucker. Has gone. Yeah. Come out. Man, at least this guy's alive. That's a good thing. Gods, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly, but griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it alive, piece by piece. Uh -oh. oh, fun. You'd, you'd like a reward, I suppose. Um, I think it will be advantageous in the future to tell him that he doesn't owe you me don't anything. Owe us anything. You were in need. We helped. And they call witches heartless. Say they won't lift a finger without pay. They also say mice are born of rotting straw. I feel good about that. Like I said. Leads to the main road and ends there, muddled. You seek someone. Uh, I know why he cares, but I'm going to ask anyway. What's it to you? Well, you see, there's an inn here in White Orchard. Soul one around gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there. Yeah. Besides, that's better than payment, even. Person. Tell her Bram sent you. She'll treat you like family. Not a bad idea. Especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure, could use a good rye. Nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. 
Wonderful. I feel really good about that. Oh, you're actually a merchant. Oh, okay. No, I can't buy anything. That's it, Roach. Hold A without searing to automatically follow its path. Your heart will lose stamina while using this option to automatically follow a road. Okay. So, the Griffin is close to the village. Strange. My thoughts exactly. This is super helpful. Sure, but here, near the main road. So I can just go super fast as long as I'm on a road. Is everywhere the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Here near a village, don't disturb the peace. Remember, town guards and hired watchmen won't tolerate theft, and also won't look kindly on you accosting others. The local residents often erect notice boards near settlements such as villages and cities. These are marked with the note, a paper with writing on your map. <laughs> Examine them to learn about contracts, work for witchers, and local happenings. Okay, I will do such a thing. Men Maybe. Too. We need to watch ourselves hey in the White Orchard. And we should leave as soon as we learn it. Okay. Oh, I heard someone yelling about a witcher. That's me, I'm a witcher. What? Take that down before there's trouble. That is your coat of arms, the Temerian lilies. They've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. My arse it is! Is there about to be a bar fight this early on in the game? That is, we're fucking crazy recognizable, I guess. Oh, it's the hairstyle. Evil, those freaks. Then don't. I'll cut your fucking head off. Beg your pardon for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. I suppose we have to be. Folk are jumpy around here. Armies just passed through. Now a griffin's prowling about. Oh, that's what it is, a griffin. Already had the pleasure. Ran into your kinsman, Bram. Bram? How is he? Alive. Sends his regards. Master witches. Food and drink on the house. What can I get you? Wonderful! Uh, let me see what kind of stuff you got. Behind the counter. Oh, Gwent. Oh, okay. That's the card game that this game has in it. Okay, I heard a little bit about that, actually. I don't know how the fuck to play it, but I'm interested. At least a little. Hides your ingredients. Anything particular I got here? Regenerates vitality for 20 seconds. Okay. Plums. What's this? This is right at the end. Homemade pepper vodka. All right, and also regenerates vitality. A lot of things that regenerate vitality. All right. Uh, yeah, I want to know about there this for sure. On that griffin? Nay, not at the moment. Used to be. Soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the alderman would start a collection or go to the lord for help. Now the alderman don't use the privy without asking the black one's permission first. And seems they hanged the lord. So no contract. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. That's unfortunate. Looking for a woman. Raven-haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. Believe I'd remember. Yeah. Yep. Especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travelers about, though. 
folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. Fair enough. Pretty busy place. Pretty busy place you got. Nations on the move. Some search for kin, others just want to get out of the way of the armies. They all need food, drink, and a night's rest in warmth. So, war's been good for your trade? Aye, so far. But it'd be best to know peace again. Times like these, you never know what tomorrow will bring. That's super fair. Alright, I'm doing this. Thanks. For everything. that up? Please. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm-hmm. Just remember, we'd rather not draw any attention. Yeah, with you announcing that to the entire bar, I'm sure we won't. Black one's been out Ooh, this place is smaller than it Lame seems. Measure. Better that than burning the harvest. Oh, Drommel. Drommel, you're dumb I know there is someone I want to ask. Lines, Who's huh? gone, I think. There are four factions. Four what? Factions, teams, suits, similar to clubs and spades, except each suit has its own face cards. There are also special cards. Wouldn't you rather play war? It's like to be near dawn before you get your game in the noggin. <laughs> What's going on, That's guys? A waste of time. The earth shall revolve around the sun before you comprehend these rules. Got a minute? Why not? Al Dirt Git, assistant professor in contemporary history at Oxenfurt Academy. All right. Trivia, Witcher with tenure. I'm looking for a woman, long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? Of course not. Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is pure poppycock. Huh? Horsewoman of war. What's that about? Folks say an omen. A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her. Armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with misfortune. I can vouch for the huh. last bit. Know where they saw her? No facts interest me, not fairy tales. I'm going to punch you in the mouth. All right, let's go through all these. To find a scholar. Take it, you're fleeing the war. Quite the opposite. Chasing it. I'm headed for the front. Tired of life. I seek knowledge, which I value more than life itself. I've a thirst no dusty old tomes can quench. I wish to see the Nilfgaardian invasion with my own eyes, understand it, and record it all in my chronicle, my magnum opus. Uh, eh, fuck it, he can chase his goddamn dreams. We need somebody to describe war, what it's really like. Not colorful banners and generals making moving speeches, but rape, violence, and thoughtless cruelty. Ah, I see you lack the polish of the Academy. Rape and cruelty are details of no import to the war's course. Trinkets on the garment of conflict, one might say. Hmm. <laughs> Tell that to the people whose houses burned down. Hmm. <laughs> war reached Novigrad yet. No, I don't no. like this guy. But it's only a matter of time. Nilfgaard on one bank, Redania on the other, drooling over the city like dogs over a juicy bone. Many a ruler's choked on that bone. True. Mm. We value our liberty in Novigrad, and we know how to fight for it. Mm -hmm. The scholars especially. The sword is not the only weapon. Do not forget, architects from our academy designed the city walls. Walls no war machine has ever crumbled. Uh huh. Later. Go. So long. A moment, which you strike me as a man of the world. Oh, now is the now is the card game. No, and I don't have time to learn. But the rules are quite simple. Come, let's play. You know, I'm okay with this. I want to figure this fucking game out. Splendid. Here's how it's done. Oh boy, here we go. An ancient dwarven card game that simulates the clash of two armies in battle. The players are generals, and the cards are their forces. So let's do this. Okay, starting hand. To begin, you draw ten cards. This will be your hand for the rest of the match. Oh, you will not draw any more cards. Use this wisely. Okay. 
This is a unit card. The number in the upper left corner indicates its strength. When placed on the battlefield, this value is added to the total strength of the player who placed it. This is the unit's combat row icon. This indicates the row on the battlefield where the card can be played. Close, ranged, and siege. Some cards have special abilities. The Kedwinian Siege Expert's special ability is called Morale Boost, which grants plus one strength to all units in the same row. Okay. Weather cards are a type of special card. They reduce the strength of all cards of a given type on the battlefield, including your own. Okay. Ice is for footmen. Uh, water is for catapults. And I presume wind is for bow and arrows? Okay. At the start of each game, you can select up to two cards to discard and redraw. Well, let's skip that for now and go straight to playing. Alright, fine. Here's the battlefield. This is your side. This is your opponent's side. During each turn, a player may place one card on the battlefield or pass. Each deck has a leader, and the leader grants you a special ability which can be used only once during a battle. Trigger the special ability at any point by pressing X. Leader ability. Pick an impenetrable fog card from your deck and play it instantly. Okay, so that's my ability. I should probably play a minion with a lot of power. So I suppose the Ballista is what it's going to be. Okay. The number on the left by your icon shows the current total of strength of your units. The number on the right shows the total strength for that row. Both values are updated when a card is played. At the end of the round, the player with the highest total strength wins. During your turn, you can pass by holding down Y. Once you pass, you cannot play any more cards during that round. Your opponent can continue playing cards until he or she passes as well. You should pass when you are confident you can win with the units you already have in play, or to let your opponent win and save your cards for the next round. Multiple players have passed the players, then compare the total strength. Okay. Sure. Oh wow. Well that that sure sucks. Uh Who's a strong front linesman is good. Okay, motherfucker. I'll play this shitty footman. What have you got for me, asshole? I don't have a win card, so I can't do that. Uh, I'll use one of these weaker bowmen. Okay. You done? Okay, he's played one, two, he's played four cards. I played four cards. I have seven, he has four. I'm gonna pass. We both have seven. How do I lose? What? Fuck off! Well, I don't have any goddamn swordsmen, so you can eat my shit. Let me guess, you've got wind. Actually not. Ice it is. Get out of here with this shit.
Use the leader card. Yeah. Do it. What is this doing? I don't know what it's doing. Oh, I fucked myself. That's what is that's what's happening here is that I fucked myself. Oh good. Uh I guess I forfeit then. Hmm. Well, it's not a game. Okay. If you ever find yourself in I'll remember that. Thanks. Okay. I think I know how to play now, but I just fucking screwed myself by doing impenetrable fog or whatever. Ah, fuck it. I'm sure that game's not going to be Looking very important. Woman. Uh, like everyone, not like everyone, and not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries, dresses in black and white. Two schnapses. Okay. It'll lift your spirits. Let's get to the point. To I'll take it. That'll lift my spirits. You look haggard. It's just a few drops to improve your mood. A little schnapsies never hurt a soul. That Let me is cut untrue. The chase. You seen her or not? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Oh, good, a name. Thank you. Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. Once I hear something, I never forget. Can't help it. Huh. Okay, so now I want to know who do? you are. Who are you? A mangy vagrant. Gone to road deep at your service. Vagrant? That a profession now? Uh, once a merchant of mirrors. The madding crowd dubbed me Master Mirror, or the Man of Glass. Okay. How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. Into Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of Blaviken. Well, that's a title I haven't heard before. I'm sure it's been quite applicable in the previous games. Recognize me from Master Dandelion's ballads, too? To your health. Alright. Deepest apologies, but I must ask. Is this about love? Uh mm, yes. It. It's love. I knew it at once. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An elf guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. Okay. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white. Gooseberries and... Yes. I know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Fair enough. Thanks. Give me what I was looking for. Stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble, and you'll be nearby to help. Most likely. In about 30 minutes. Probably. Give or take. A card game. 